and welcome back to Constellation Station. I'm Nicole from the Cincinnati Observatory and here at Constellation Station, we like to do three things. We like to learn a little bit about constellations. We like to figure out where we can find those constellations up in the night sky. And then we like to figure out how can we make those constellations in our own homes. So today we have a very special constellation because it's connected to our constellation from last week. Does anyone remember what we talked about last week? That's right. We talked about Libra. Uh, we talked about Libra, the scales. And if you remember, it was kind of difficult for us to picture with our imagination. And that's the same thing with this constellation. But what might help us is thinking about Libra. Libra is the scales of justice. And this week we're doing Virgo, which is a constellation right next to Libra. And Virgo is of a woman. And usually this woman is described as a virgin as a maiden and she is usually considered someone associated with justice so sometimes she is actually pictured holding libra holding our scales of justice so maybe if we think about okay uh we have libra over here virgo right next to to, to libra then maybe together we can picture these two constellations so our constellation today spans all the way across our constellation station from all the way over here to all the way over here and what I want us to imagine is that my constellation station keeps going this way. And we have Libra on this side of the constellation. And then on the other side of Libra, we have Scorpius. So I want us to remember that my constellation station is only a tiny part of the whole massive sky that includes all of the constellations that we've talked about so far on our show. So today we're going to start on this side of my constellation station because like I said, this is a constellation of a woman, and she is laying down for a nap on our constellation station. Not really, but she's pictured with her head over here with the star all the way down to her feet on the other end. So this is a very long constellation, and we need to use our imaginations to picture her kind of laying on her side here, or standing up, but just sideways. So that's how we're going to connect the dots of our constellation today, starting with our head over here. So we start with the head and this is where it gets kind of tricky because usually we talk about okay we're going to connect the head and then we see things like the arms of our constellations but really what we're connecting to is the head down to the body down here and it's going to kind of end up looking like a box so we're going to put our imaginations to work here today to picture Virgo, the constellation. And some of you might remember that we've talked about zodiac constellations on our show before, and this is a zodiac constellation, which just means it follows the path of the moon and the sun and the planets in the sky. So now we're going to go up here. So this isn't exactly an arm, it's just her maybe holding something up here. So we're going to go ahead and connect her body over to the side here. All the way up there. And now we get to the rest of our box. So this is going to be our kind of square box shape right here. It's not quite a square, but it's pretty close. So we're going to connect this part next. And like I said, we really have to use our imagination because our head is over here, but we have our body here in a kind of box shape. And maybe you notice this special star that I have up here today. There's something special about one of these stars, and we're going to talk about that star here in a minute. Did you guys figure it out? It's our blue star right here. We have one star that's blue today. That is Spica. And Spica is what you're really going to want to find to find this constellation first when you're looking up in the night sky. Spica is one of our brightest stars that we can see in the sky. So if you can see Scorpius and then you can see Libra, then you'll want to look for our blue star Spica right here. And Spica is really interesting because it's actually two stars. When we see it with our eyeballs, with just our eyeballs, it looks like 
it's one star, but if we use binoculars or a telescope, then it looks like it's actually two stars. And that's a star that we call a binary star or a double star. And Spica is blue because the bigger of the two stars in our double star is a blue star. So we'll keep connecting Spica up to this other star to make our box. And there we go, we have our body kind of done here of our uh, constellation. And here we're gonna start connecting to the side. This is where it starts to look a little bit more like legs, which makes it a little bit more helpful for me to picture this as a woman. Um, and even Spica here is supposed to be her holding something, like grains of wheat in her hand. So it takes a lot of imagination, a lot of imagination, but maybe if we finish connecting our dots, that'll help us out a little bit. We'll connect these three dots right here to finish up this side. And then we'll, we'll connect our dots up here to do our last little bit of our constellation. have our constellation Virgo that we can also find up in the night sky. So today, just a reminder of the materials I use for my constellation station. I have my background, which is the black sheet. I have clothesline that I'm using as my rope to connect my dots. Um, and my dots, my stars are just made out of paper. And for your stars, you can use anything you want. They don't really have to even be in the shape of stars. So far in this program, we've used leaves instead of stars. We've done a lot of different creative ways of making our stars and using different material to connect our stars in our constellation station. So I hope you are having fun making your own constellation station at home and making your own constellations. Uh, the last thing we need to do today is talk about where do we find this constellation up in the night sky. Let's see. So if we think about where are other two constellations that I've talked about today, Scorpius and Libra, where were they up in the sky? Do you remember? Yeah, they were in the southern sky. So we have the southwest on the side going over to the west. And this constellation is going to take up that whole span. So if you look south and you find Scorpius and you find Libra, then you move a little bit southwest and you can find Virgo all the way over to the west where it ends over here with our head star. So you want to look in the south uh, or the, the west of the southwest right around 930, but you only have a little bit of time left. Virgo is almost gone. Virgo usually comes up in the spring, is here through the whole summer, and then returns uh, back the next spring. So it'll be gone for the fall in the winter. So make sure you guys go outside around 930 sometime soon to see Virgo up in the night sky. Thank you guys for watching today and we'll see you on Constellation Station here next week.